One thing I do miss about Finland is um, not having to worry about soundproofing as much. Like here in Japan I feel so paranoid in my apartment that I have like the curtains and everything closed to reduce uh, like sounds like of me speaking as much. So I don't get to like see outside the window at all when I stream. It's, really it's annoying. annoying. I really miss like... <laughs> I really miss looking outside the window when I stream. Why so paranoid? I don't know. Um, I'm paranoid... Uh, like, I know a lot of... Like, I know some of the sounds from my apartment and some of the sounds I make and my talk will be heard in the other apartments uh, very faintly sometimes, depending on my, like, how loud I talk uh, and how quiet the other people are. Which is, like, it's fine. Uh, I'm not, like, I'm I'm streaming during the day, so it's fine. But I guess it's partly because also... <laughs> I guess I ultimately just think it's embarrassing that I stream. Also because I look like a fucking streamer and I'm also a gaijin in Japan looking like a fucking streamer talking in English in my apartment. Somehow I just feel very self-conscious about it. <laughs> and especially because I don't feel that confident about my streams. Like I I truly feel myself an amateur, which also like frees me from a lot of pressures. Like I feel like I'm already like a noob. So there's no other way to go except like up or stay noob level. But still I feel like there's some sort of embarrassment and embarrassment of being found out and if there is a chance I like run into my neighbors I would feel so embarrassed somehow even though there shouldn't be anything embarrassing about it and I try to constantly like remind myself and like do all this like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you do what you enjoy doing and that's ultimately what I do I just do what I, whatever I feel like doing and that's that's cool and that's awesome but somehow like, somehow the whole setup like of me being a, first of all a foreigner in Japan, which makes me think about all the all the issues a lot of like uh, people have with foreigners being like you know there's all these kind of conceptions about like negative views of foreigners, so it kind of puts you already in a place where you might feel like pressure to act overly polite or overly over the etiquette, so you don't have to enforce negative ideas about foreigners. Even though, even though it's just stupid. So there's that, and then there's on top of that, like, you know, with my hair and stuff like that, it's just... <laughs> and talking in English, it's like such a such a streamer uh, vibe. So, so yeah, it's just a me problem, but that's like, that's making me paranoid. But it's also like, I don't want to bother my neighbors, even though it's during daytime, there is no problem with that. There shouldn't be a problem with you talking in your apartment during daytime, especially because I'm not like, li I'm not, I'm not yelling. I'm actually, I don't know if people have noticed, but there's a significant change between my streams back in Finland and here in Japan in how loud I talk. Um, in which, like, like in, in my energy, in, in the total. Between the eyes. Between the eyes, the answer lies, maybe. The answer lies between the eyes, probably. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, between the eyes for me is the, the symbols. <laughs> So, yeah, that's true. Dad won't know of me breaking in and getting a gun, right? There's like two guards outside. This motherfucker. I didn't even give the 4,500. No! My precious money! <laughs> no, I don't wanna! I don't wanna! I don't wanna! Society. Way true. No! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Fuck this shit, I. I just wanted to fucking limit my time limit. Oh! Go! Serio! Serio! Go! Oh! I die. Dead bodies in my holes. Who are you? The proud old friend. That I'm a spell. Because I try to keep it very, like, low key. <laughs> Uh, which I think is a good direction. I like low key streaming, but um, I'm I don't know. It's just something something about the neighbors. It's just the walls are quite thin here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the Japanese and like foreigners. Yeah, yeah. There's also there was one instant like when my father came over during New Year's, and of course he stayed at my place. Um, he has he has a voice that gets carries quite a lot. 
quite a lot and at one point we were laughing so loud someone came to knock my door and said and I don't remember that like the thing is it annoys me I don't remember what the person said and I was too anxious about social interaction that I don't I didn't pay attention too much to what he said it was either there's gonna be sounds from outside which would have made sense because I had gotten a notice that there's gonna be reconstruction work in the nearby area or the person was saying that we were so loud people would hear us outside and I still am not sure which way it is. It was either message. <laughs> but that made me feel so scared. <laughs> and after that, especially, I've been very conscious about the sounds I make. Even though, even though my neighbors, like, they fucking wash their, like, laundry in the middle of the night. And that is actually very disturbing because the washing machines have, like, this very rhythmic they're very rhythmic so sometimes it actually sounds like a vi fucking vibrator and many times i'd be like is it the washing machine or is someone masturbating right now and i never i'm never sure about it <laughs> but like i have neighbors who like during night night hours like you know the quiet hours they like um they do talk and stuff like that but like during my stay here, it's been like two or three times I've gotten to my mailbox like this manner code like page paper like ha that has like um, the etiquette on how to live and it has like when to talk and when to wash your dishes, uh, when to wash your laundry and stuff like that and hours when you shouldn't do that. And I never know if they actually give them to everyone because I know it. It's multiple of it's it's all of us in this in this apartment complex. Or is it just me? And that also makes me just feel extra paranoid because I don't know if it's everyone or is it just me if someone is making complaints about me and that's why I get them to my mailbox sometimes. Or is it just like everyone in general and they do that as a routine? Or what is up with that? <laughs> so that is also why I'm like very, very, very paranoid about like streaming because it's like me talking for hours uh, even though it's like mostly during daytime um <laughs> yeah i know i know i maybe could like take it more relaxed but yeah, i don't know it's just me <laughs> i mean seeing how society is in a lot of first world countries these days i don't blame them for not liking outsiders yeah i mean finland from where i come from is very racist and like i i do think people having uh xenophobic thoughts I, I do I, I am against that like I think I think there could be work work for that like uh, I, I I think there could be more work towards like more acceptance but I, I do understand where people are coming from I, I understand the environment like I don't expect people to be extra happy to see me here or, or having me as a neighbor but you know um, you're more likely to get a silence complaint <laughs> well well <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I think I'm pretty normal with like I'm, I'm pretty normal I think though I do wonder like lately I found a new streamer um, who is really loud and I, I checked like few of his streams just today too and I do wonder like I do wonder about him but also in general like there's so many streamers who talk really loud and I do wonder like do they do they can't they afford to live in a a house instead of apartment or do they have do they live in apartment how can they live in an apartment <laughs> like i don't know even if i lived in a house i would still get so paranoid about like screaming or yelling like actually yelling <laughs> like it would still probably carry it to the streets right it just it just blows my mind how they have the like courage to use so much volume. <laughs> You're very soft spoken. I take that as a compliment. That is what I try to do. I went and did my preparations. I harvested five hours, may I say. 
Uh, should I look for some kind of guide? Wait, what? Not an apparition type enemy, so given quantity will not do extra damage. Are you sure? No way. No. Okay, divine convict will only increase damage by a very small- Oh my fuck. We will forget all about these. Uh, how much did I waste on this shit? This hurts. No way. No way. <laughs> Guys, I spent five hours preparing to fight this bitch. And now I learn that the confetti is not the key. So that's going great.